Okay, let's take a look at the examples for alternate exterior angles. Our first example A says find the measure of each angle and the value of y. So this is very similar to a couple of the examples we did in another lesson. We note that since these two angles out here, the one marked in the top left and the one marked in the bottom right, are alternate angles and they're on the exterior of these two lines which are specified as parallel. We know that those two angles must be equal, so that tells us that 3y plus 53 needs to be the same thing as 7y. Oops, let's do 7 first. How's that? There we go. 7y minus 55. So now we just solve for y. We'll subtract 3y from both sides. Cancel. 3y gives us 53 on the left-hand side, equal to 4y minus 55 on the right-hand side. We'll add 55 to both sides. That'll cancel, and we'll have what, 108. 108 equals 4y. Divide both sides by 4. My 4s have just been so wonky today. 4s cancel, and we end up with y equals 108 divided by 2 would be 54. 54 divided by 2 would be 27. So y needs to be 27. And that tells us that 3 times 27, 3 times 27 plus 53 will be the measure of our top left-hand angle. And 20, 40, 60, so 81. And 53 would be 134. And if that one's 134, this one must also be 134 because they're alternate exterior angles. And that's it. Let's take a look at example B. All right, example B says, the map below shows three roads in Julio's town. So we have Franklin Way, we have Chavez Avenue, and we have Via La Playa. Julio used a surveying tool to measure two angles at the intersections in this picture he drew, which was not to scale, and he wants to know if Franklin Way is parallel to Chavez Avenue. So what we need to do is find out whether this line here is parallel to this line here. And we can do that with the converse of our alternate exterior, exterior angles theorem, which says that if this angle here is equal to this angle here, then these two lines in the middle must be parallel, or if this angle here is equal to this angle here, then they must be parallel. So let's work on these two here. Let's see if 130 is the same thing as A. And if that's the case, then 130 would be equal to A and 40 plus A would be equal to 180. So these two angles here form a linear pair. They're both on the same line, making a straight line, so we know it's 180 degrees. So if we use that information here to solve for A, that tells us that subtracting 40 from both sides tells us that A equals 140. So this angle over here must be 140 degrees. And if this angle is 140 degrees and its alternate exterior angle is 130 degrees, then these two lines cannot be parallel. So we say that Franklin is not parallel to Chavez. All right, let's take a look at example C. Example C says, which lines are parallel if angle AFG, so angle AFG is congruent to IJM? All right, well, if those two angles are congruent, then that tells us that the upper right hand angle and the lower left hand angle of two lines, CG and H, uh, HK, crossed by a transversal, 
are equal. If those two are equal, then we have alternate exterior angles that are equal. So that would tell us that line CG, line CG is parallel to line HK. Obviously it does not look like that, but uh, it's a very, very good habit to get into in geometry in particular, assuming that drawings are not to scale unless they say they are. And all you can do is go on the information you're specifically told. So yes, CG is parallel to HK, assuming AFG is congruent to IJM.